Hey guys, it's RK1, and I'll be showing you guys how to make a drop down menu for a blogger like this one. Okay, and you can hover over. Alright, so if you come to this website, um, it's actually pretty cool. You can make your own drop down menu, and it's pretty easy, it's straightforward. You have all this thing right here, it says back. You can edit all these stuff. Like let's say background color on the top level menu items you can come to my blog and let's say you want it to be blue you can copy this code without the pound sign paste it and let's say you want the background color and hover let's make it mm, light blue and we'll copy that and submit design so yeah as you can see you can hover over and that looks pretty neat okay so you can just mess with that stuff and after you're done you're gonna come here to the CSS code and you want to copy this whole thing control C copy it and go to blogger design Edit HTML, and you want to um, do Control F and search for this code. Bracket left, bracket left, and then this code. Okay, now you want to put that CSS code right above this. Okay, so Control V and save template. Okay. Now another thing I would recommend is deleting the tab section right here under tabs. Okay. This is gonna because Blogger has its own navigation thing page, but it's actually pretty limited. Like you can't really design it. So if you just erase this whole thing, you can actually replace your drop down menu with the tab na navigation thing. So yeah, save template. Then you want to go to page elements, add a gadget, HTML, and I'll have this in my blog. So you want to copy this whole thing. Copy it. Okay, and paste it right here. And you can change these with your own thing. Like let's say you want link one to be home. Let's say it links to I don't know contacts, and that's these are the drop down menus for that link. So let's say on contacts, you would say um I don't know just subscribe. Let's say email. All right, and you want to save it, and also um. The pound sign is the link that you'll be referring them to. So, like, let's say youtube.com, save, or actually it has to be coded like http colon slash slash in the website. Okay, after that, click on save, view blog. And as you can see, we have our drop-down menu. But there's, but if you if you want to scroll down like this, you want to hover hover over. You can't really. It hides. Okay. So we need to fix that. I'm gonna go back to edit HTML. Control F and f search for position absolute. And you want to look for one that's right under this. Suckerfish nav ul. Okay. Now, right after this tag, after the semicolon, after absolute, you want to type in z dash index colon 100 semicolon. It's really important you do that. Okay. And again, all of this is my blog. Okay. All the codes. Now, if we go here, 
and we can actually scroll over okay now again one problem what if we want to see this in to an explorer and oh no okay so yeah internet explorer is just a really big pig about this so we need to fix this now for internet explorer <coughs> What you want to do again is go on design, assign template designer, advanced, and then add CSS. Oh, this is my own blog. Hold on. Add CSS. Alright. Now, you might not have this, but. Let's just add a new CSS. Okay. So that's going to be pound. So for fish nav, because that's the name of this drop down menu. And you want to do li colon hover comma pound so for fish nav li dot hover brackets open. And you want to type in position colon static semicolon enter then brackets close. Okay, it's really important to have this. Now, if you apply this, view blog. Okay, this is on Firefox. Now let's view it in. As you can see, this was the previous thing. Okay. Now let's see it on this again. Now as you can see it's actually it's like Firefox again. Okay? You can't really do anything with it. Now the only fix for this is to add space between your drop down menu and your header. So the way we're gonna do that is going back to blogger again. Design and right here under or HTML, you want to add space between between the, You can add as many space. Say br br as many space so that it's not the drop down menus don't go over the post. Okay, so we can say that. Okay, let's view. So that's not a lot. Wait, hold on. View and we can't, so we need to add more space. Let's see. Br, br. Let's add one more. Uh, save. I right, see now that's better. Okay. And you get like I need to add more and more space right here. So what you get the idea, right? So yeah, that's how you make um, a drop down menu for a blogger. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment and you can go to my blog right here. And I have step by step instruction on how to do all this. Okay. So if you like this comment, subscribe and bye.